Daily Dysfunction is now back, and it's time for Question of the Day. I really should be more careful when I do blank. 253-833-5004 is our number to call, or text us 253-293-5069. Now, this is going to sound really, really weird when I say it, but I should be really care- like much more careful when I surf the internet. Oh, yes. Now, Too many pornos? No, this is just because anywhere you go, no matter whether it's just Facebook or any anything else, there's a chance of somebody getting into your, into your computer. I don't know if you guys heard a while back. They just recently solved this issue that Internet Explorer had a big issue with um, an add-on that would let people take over your computer if you used Internet Explorer. No, I didn't have that. Yeah, um, it's it's been it's since been solved. But stuff like that, you just need like I need to pay more attention when I when stuff like that needs like happens. I also have a couple of uh, I have one in particular uh, blocker on my laptop that keeps viruses out and i haven't renewed it for a while and i'm just all, i'm just paranoid about it because it has all my information on it and that, everything that is so. pretty risky that my a uh, thousand some odd dollar new computer that i just bought that's really cool yeah doesn't have a firewall or yeah, any protection you should get, you should get that <laughs> well the thing is my because that could ruin your computer my my brother put on this one it, it's it's this one called Komodo, and it the firewall or is it what the firewall? It's it's protects firewall spyware. It's supposed to be like a one it's and a, all. Yeah, the, it's called Komodo. Yeah, Komodo. It's supposed to be like a super awesome yeah, firewall. And I had it on my last computer, and it completely locked down my computer. Whoa! Because it would. At, I mean, I can see where a computer tech guy would find this this Attract, one useful. An attractive because application. every time something tried to access your computer, it would ask you, oh, "Hey, that would be irritating. This is trying to happen. Do you want to allow this or do you not want to allow this?" But I, I mean, I I know some things about computers, but this is asking like, "Hey, this uh, like- execution uh, dot x y x y this this this," and it would do this whole line of stuff, and it said, "Do you want to do this?" And it's something that sure. you have no idea what it is, and I have no idea. It was so no. I would just immediately say deny, yeah. because I don't want to. Uh, unless it said it was safe, because it would say like green, yellow, or red. Right. So anything yellow or red, I would just immediately deny because you know I don't want anything. Who knows what it is? Yeah, you so, don't know because it's just a line of like random text. So I would constantly click deny, 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 and sometimes it would ask me ten things in a row: deny, 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 and finally my whole computer just shut down. Because of this stupid software. That's really irritating. So I had to go get it in. They they went in there and said, oh, yeah, it's this Komodo thing. It, it's not letting like computer do anything. So they took it off, and now my old computer's working fine. So I got my new, brand new computer, and my brother's like, hey, I'm going to put this Komodo back on there. And you're like, no. And I was like, no. Why would you do that? Don't worry. It's fine. They fixed everything, and it's working okay. Hey. Nope. And then I've had my computer for all of three months, and I go on the other day, and or uh, about a month ago and it goes your komodo's not working try to solve this problem click yes yes click click oh okay problem can't be solved tried something else and then it just like goes away and you're like all right well i guess i don't have that anymore I was like, okay and then the next time i log on to my computer komodo's not working <laughs> oh, you have no irritating. firewall protection try to solve this problem bummer click <laughs> problem can't be solved oh oh well <laughs> Don't watch. At this point, who cares? This is why you don't watch porn on your computer. I know. I don't. Honestly, I only use my computer for video games anymore, but they can still get into your, your yeah, stuff. Yeah, if that. you're connected oh, yeah. to the internet, you never know. People, If they really want to get to your stuff, they can, but... Well, that's with anything, though. That's not just your computer. I mean, Yeah, like, but that's you... what I was... It, it's good to have protection in general. Yeah. You can get into your bed if they try. Uh, if they Basically. want to. And depending on how attractive they are, I guess. But honestly, I, I don't know a lot about com- com- computers. I'm not tech savvy at all no i actually kidding. feel really old when i i talk about anything those dang you, when computers. we finally got our youtube's channel set up yesterday when we uploaded a couple videos you freaked yeah. you were like YouTube, how does it work yeah i was actually really excited i was like we're gonna be we're gonna be internet famous by the way we're on youtube now yeah go to uh oh geez i don't even know look at look us up on youtube we don't have the actual url daily yet. dysfunction it's not the yeah but look us up daily and we're like the fourth one down i was looking it up yesterday and we're right below obama kissing a baby yeah so we're right below obama we're right there with the stars yeah Go so go listen to our show. Yeah, you can listen to our show on there. Old old versions of our show. More stuff will be uploaded as we go along. Yeah. Question of the day. I really do. I really should be more careful when I do blank. 
253-833-5004 is that number to call or text us 253-293-5069. By the way, when I, when I was like imitating BJ or uh, imitating Joe, like freaking out about YouTube, I foamed at the mouth a little bit. You did? I did. I spat, I spit like a little bit. Of, I, was, I felt a little insane. I didn't foam at the mouth. You did. You went, you went nuts. You were like, how does it work? How does it work? It's amazing. Not, I was like, it's just YouTube. Not that nuts. Um, anyway, uh, so I should really be more careful when I get paid and just use my debit card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, honestly, it, it, you don't pay attention to how much you're spending. I never used to use debit I, card because of that exact reason. Yeah. Because I knew when I pulled out that $40, when that $40 is gone, I've used up $40. And I know it's simple to say, look at that, that, that pay stub, or not pay stub, um, receipt and go, oh, I spent this much. Oh, I spent this much. <laughs> but when you're, sometimes you're just hungry. Sometimes you just buy things that you, don't think of as a, a purchase and it just disappears. And then you look at your bank account a week you, later. You've got like $4. And you've spent $200 and, and 100 of it's on food and some of it's on gas and other things that you don't even realize. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like I will, I get paid tomorrow and I know I need gas. I'll need cigarettes. And uh, we'll need, cig- need cigarettes. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, duh. Mm-hmm. Well, how else am I supposed to smoke a cigarette if I don't have a cigarette? That's why I need one. By anyway, not smoking that's <laughs> no, uh, and then also have to pay a deposit for like a, an apartment or whatever. So I know that money is going to go by fast because that just that deposit alone is going to be a it's lot. A it's going to be a big chunk. Yeah, but like twenty dollars of gas is not that much anymore, and it's really sad to say, but it's not. And then I know uh, if I work this weekend, I will most likely end up buying lunch because I'm going to be either hungover or just out the night before so i'm not gonna be home to pack a lunch or anything like that and it just it adds up from there then my girlfriend will want to go out and do something or i want i want to go to the it's bar it's the girlfriend's fault i always girlfriends girlfriend. are expensive man they really as are. soon as you get a girlfriend your money just disappears it does they're expensive and it's not even i'm not even saying it's the fact that they take your money it's the fact that they want to do things that cost money like yeah i feel that men can enjoy Mm-hmm. more uh, inexpensive things like going to the woods and walking or doing like a, a sport or something. And I'm sure it depends upon the girl, but yeah, it this de- is our experience. Yeah, well, it d- definitely <laughs> depends on the girl. But I, from what I've experienced, like most girls aren't going to play sports with you. They just don't feel that comfortable, I guess, or you don't enjoy it as much because obviously you're playing down to their level. Yeah. Unless you have a very muscular girlfriend. Yeah, you're playing full contact <laughs> football with your Scottish girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's so there's not really any sports that you both can enjoy because obviously she's going to know that you're having fun in a sense, but not getting a, the full enjoyment out of it. Or uh, walking through the woods. Most I've I figured out most women nowadays just don't want to do anything nature wise. Yeah. Well, I most dudes when I went on don't want to do anything nature wise. When I went on a break with my girlfriend, I thought I would save a good mo- uh, amount of money for however long the break was going to be. It only. Ended up being like two weeks. And then Joe figured out he was an expensive date. Basically. Yeah. Like I went to the bars both weekends. My tab was never higher than those weekends I was single. Yeah. Don't know why. I wasn't like I was buying people drinks or anything like that. You were depressed. I, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> you were You were probably a little. If my girlfriend's this, yeah, I was totally depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, but, it was awesome. But no, I just, I kind of just cut loose and I just drank. I, I, one of the weekends, I think. That's when you and I, uh, Gabe, you and I started drinking whiskey. Oh, yeah. And so we went from that was, like... <laughs> that was a good night. Yeah, we went from like a beer or two, and then we just did shots of whiskey and then mixed drinks and stuff like that. So that was a huge bar tab for me. Yeah, a Dirty Hippie came up to that, me that day in, from California and bought me a whiskey and Coke. Yeah, and some weird creeper guy came up to me and was like, I want to have sex with the bartender. And I'm like, that's... Oh, pretty cool yeah. dude i'm feeling a little this, creeped on bro this, this bartender was probably 25 26 or something was it a, was it a lady or yes. Uh, or, yes i don't know i wasn't there you guys didn't invite me some guy came up and said he wanted to have sex so oh, we're just gonna assume all right that's you girl. never know you yeah. never know this guy was probably 45 Five forty-seven or something like that, and he divorced he, with like two kids. Yeah, and he had. He looked like he had been through the ringer. Oh, he yeah. had on like one of those button-up shirts that just you see 
greasy old guys wearing, and it was just weird. Yeah, and he's sitting there talking to me, and at first it was like casual conversation. I was like, dude, I saw you hitting on a girl at the table behind you. I saw you hitting on somebody else when you first walked in. I know that's just the kind of guy you are. I don't really want to talk to you, but... I was Is drunk. That you said? Did you say that to him? <laughs> no. I, oh. That's what I. Hopefully, that's what, were, that's what you were thinking. I was drunk, so hopefully, I was not saying what I was thinking. Right. But either way, and then next thing I know, the bartender comes up, asks me if I want another drink, and he's just like, looks at me, he's like, "I'm gonna hit that tonight." Oh. Like, dude, <laughs> and that's I know. the creep factor. No. no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't just stop there. It got like graphic. Yeah. He he just kept going farther. It was one of those people with no like social boundaries so he assumed he could talk with a brand new person what he would talk with like a friend of 12 years about i felt sure. like he was reading a porn to me Ooh. and i'm just like and Dude. you're just like sitting there next to him in the bar and she's right there and she's right there and he's right there so i'm getting this graphic image yeah. of this old dude naked and his ah, junk and i'm just like i don't want to know and by right about there about. he means he the guy was talking to the girl spun around in his seat and started telling joe what he was going to do to her yeah like her <laughs> eyes got big too. Like, are you are you serious right now? Like, come on, dude. Creepy. Yeah, basically. Creepy old guys at bars. You hear us, creepy old guys at bars? We're yeah. coming for you. Women, be careful of creepy old guys at bars. I know you probably already are, but <laughs> J- this is from Daily Dysfunction. Yeah, Even more so. This this means it's for real. Yeah. Question of the day. I really should be more careful when I do blank. Two five three eight three three five zero zero four is that number to call or text us two five three two nine three five zero six nine. With me, it's driving at night. Oh I, sure. Oh yeah. Fair enough. Fair I, enough. I'm not a very. I, I'd say I'm a. You're a good driver. You're I'm a, a decent you're driver. A decent enough driver. Yeah, but I when feel safe. Right. I don't freak out when I'm in your car. Good. I like that. And oh, I've also saved your life while you were driving me. So I was exhausted. And he, you fell asleep at the wheel. So I think I'm I a, did I'm a, a little, guardian angel. I did a little bit. Um, but when nighttime hits, I don't know what it is. Or or when I've had a long day and I'm driving and the sun is right at that angle where it warms up your car but isn't shining in your eyes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it feels like. Your your whole car is just a warm blanket around you. You kind of want to just pull over to the side of the road and take a nap. Well, I don't have time to pull over because I'm going to work or something. And Boy. then I just slowly eyes start drooping, and I, I, I feel it. That's happened to me on my drive home before from work, and it's a half an hour drive home, and I've started to like really doze. This is, what do you think is worse? First thing in the morning, like how we got up, <laughs> and it's still dark out, and you just woke up, or and you're like tired. late at night. Late when at night, n- definitely. Late really? At night, I, yeah. Once I wake, uh, once I'm up, I'm up. Yeah. But when I'm when I'm on my way to bad. go to bed, I'm on my way to go to bed, and I'm starting to fall, like feel sleepy. Back in high school, I had a problem with that. That's just because I would stay up until three or four in the morning, and then wake up at six in the morning every single day. So I'd have trouble waking up. But when I'd get a decent night's sleep, when I like eleven to four o'clock in the morning, I'm fine. I wake up and I'm. Refreshed, and refreshed. You're, you're awake by the time you're out of bed. Yeah. And you're not going back to sleep for a while. But nighttime, like once that sun goes down, it's just. It hits you hard. Even if Me I. Too. Even if I've taken a nap during the day, I don't know what it is. It's just See, like a. It's like the ocean wave sound when you're asleep or oh, when you're trying sure. to get to bed. That's what driving is for me almost. I'm the exact opposite. I can be like at, the, uh, know. at my girlfriend's house and at it's night. because you're smoking. Mm-hmm. Well, I smoke in the morning too. Uh, but like it's hmm. in the morning it's like i could pull over and take a quick nap and then continue my day at night it's like i'm driving home i know i'm gonna go to bed i'm gonna listen to music i'm good don't know why i mean i could be exhausted before going leaving or to drive home but then when i'm in the car i'm, I'm fine i, I don't I, know what it is. I i'll crank to... up music too and i I, it doesn't wake me up. I'll try doing all that stuff. The only thing that really keeps me up is when I talk to somebody that's in the car with me. I have to uh, like go to bed if I if I'm hanging out with friends. If I'm out like doing stuff, if I'm out to a, a restaurant or a bar or something, when I hit a certain point, once it <laughs> hits like three three a.m., I have to go home and go to sleep. I was gonna yeah. say. Otherwise, you I just am, have to sleep. You're like at a bar three a.m. Yeah, just <laughs> boom, and I'm out like a light. No, if it hits that, it's like I'm I am ready to be done. Yeah, at that point. Well, three a.m. is kind of a reasonable hour i guess well I mean, it's just it, i i have friends who you like you go and you just like chill at their place all night and you just play video games watch tv or you like you're doing whatever and they're like i'm gonna just not sleep for 48 hours and i'm like no <laughs> yeah i don't know what it's video games that's one of those things where you play it for however long and then once you're done it all hits you at once yep, and you all just- at once